Yes, sir. 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 The gadgets which are there, which spoils the cervical column and the cervical vertebra. Okay, due to the long hours of stress of the neck, with 10 to 12 pounds at angular deviation, 50 pounds with 40 degrees deviation and 60 pounds with 60 degrees deviation and home remedies. Cervical spondylitis is general term for the age-related wear and tear affecting the joints of the neck, also known as cervical osteoarthritis. This condition usually appears in the men and women older than 40 and progresses with the age. Although cervical spondylitis affects both sexes equally, men usually develop it at an early age than women. So nowadays you'll find because of this, always this should be the correct posture of a mobile thing. This is wrong, 60 pounds, 50 pounds, this is wrong, 10 to 12 pounds, the lighter the mobile. It should be before, below the face, like this. Be like this. Okay. What are the symptoms of neck pain? The usual signs and symptoms of cervical spondylitis that bring the patient to therapist are a stiff, painful neck, shoulder, arm, or chest pain, numbness, tingling, or quick quick sensations in the arms, hands, legs, or feet, lack of coordination. Difficulty in walking, abnormal reflexes, loss of bladder or bowel control, or urinary or bowel retention. What are the causes of next pain? The causes are techno stress and accompany psychophysiological changes due to the modern computer age are the important factors in the idiopathic pathogenesis, and there is no escape in a computer anywhere, anymore, anytime. Aging and wear and tear on the spine are major risk factors for spondylitis. The person is more likely to wear a spondylitis if they had a previous neck injury. Specific changes occurring with age include drying and loss of elasticity in the spinal and the cervical disc, which everybody knows now. The cervical disc out of 30, 33 vertebras, the seven vertebras are concerned into cervical. So bulging and uh, sometimes herination or disc, so that this material, material protrudes from between the two vertebrae. Stiffening of the ligaments connecting the neck bones and the muscles. Please remember, usually the on the middle of the disc, that is when C1, C2, C3, C4, usually the problem occurs in L4, L5, and C4, C5, C4, C5, C5, C6. Okay, where the actual bend takes place. The actual bend takes place on the middle of the vertebra, that is in C4 and C5. Okay. Simple movement of the neck with the angular rotation of the neck. Test and neurological examination of the neck to be examined with any stress in the balancing movement of the necks and arms, if any. Neck or the spinal x-ray. CT scan or MRI. A CT scan of the spine produces a more detailed image, while an MRI can produce detailed cross-sectional images of the spine. Myelogram distance test involves generating images using x-rays or CT scan after a dye is injected into the spinal canal for better visualization. In-depth visualization is done by CT scan and MRI. MRI will be magnetic resonance imaging. Okay. What are the UV prevention management neck pain? Avoid high impact activities if neck pain is present. Warm fermentation of the neck region. Avoid lifting the weights. Take short breaks while driving, watching TV or working on a computer. Work on the overall posture, keeping the neck aligned with the shoulders. Take adapted rest. While lying down, it is best to lie on the side. Avoid slipping on the face. Use a thin and hard pillow to support the head and neck. Though this is mentioned here, try slowly to avoid the pillow. I will not agree with this thin and hard pillows. Ladies who are housewives, or those who are in the kitchen should not lift, should not lift rice and meat which is kept down by bending. Sit on a stool 
small plastics soon and then take out the necessary required half kilo, one kilo, depending upon the family members who are taking the food. Okay, please remember this. Second thing with the common is occurring is the bathroom. Lifting out the bucket with the full water. That is also another problem with the lady's face. Especially when the problems are there, when the next stiff, stiffness is there or the lower back stiffness is there, please do not, please do not remove the bucket. Shift it by the leg, shift it by the leg or take the stool for bath and shift it along. Secondly, while entering the bathroom, when all the gent, uh, working classes are gone, the husband and the other members, the children are gone, please wash the bathroom and then you can go for bath. These are the common problems which are taking place because sleep, sleepless at, uh, at the old age and sleeping, uh, this will have a back injury, will have the bones also get injury because of the degeneration. So these things are to be avoided. Sushmavayam, asanas and pranayama. Sushmavayam to facilitate the healing energy towards Vyagra pranayama with awareness of the movements at the upper back with the breath. Chin kriya with awareness of the movements at the upper back with breath. Postures to stretch and strengthen the upper back. Nadasan, Ardhakati Chakrasan, Ardha Chakrasan, Miruasan. Gomukasan, Mandukasan, Dandasan, Sashangasan, Pushtrasan and Pratipahalasan. Pranayama, Vibhagya and Pranava Pranayama, special emphasis on Adhyam Pranayama and MMM, sound for head and neck area. Nadi Shudhya and Dhamri Pranayama help in reducing the stretch level. Kriyas, Jalliti and Kunjal Kriya, Mudras, Brahma Mudra for the head and neck region. Relaxation, Shavasan, Yoga Nidra and Ajapraja. Then we come to the low back pain. This is another very common example in the degeneration of the elderly class of population. This can also happen to a computer related people to because of the sitting postures where their back gets bent up in the lumbar region, not in the thoracic. Very rarely you'll find the thoracic getting affected. And the tailbone, which are fused bones, this very rarely gets affected. But in case any problem or discomfort happens in the tailbone, it may lead eventually to sciatica. Okay. Sciatica, you know, as you know, it is one of the longest nerve in the body, starting from the end of the tailbone, up to the leg. Okay. So back pain is a very common condition and with a uniquely experienced one. Ranging from the color of the throbbing spine, osteoarthritis to the shooting sharp pain of a ruptured disc, back pain can also come and go. Be constant person with exercise or prolonged sitting and or be associated with neurological symptoms like numbness and tingling. While back pain can be frustrating and debilitating, the upside is that the majority of episodes of back pain improves or resolves with the minimum care and usually within a few people. Muscle strains and sprains are perhaps the most common causes of the back pain, especially in the lower back. A strain refers to a tearing of a muscle or tendon, while a sprain refers to tearing of a ligament, fibrous tissue that connects two bones together. With these tears, which result from an injury like lifting a couch or a gradual overuse. Inflammation occurs, causing pain, and in some cases, muscle spasms. Spinal discs are located within the adjacent vertebra and serve as a shock absorbing cushions. For a combination of reasons, including the natural process of aging, trauma to the spine, weight gain, smoking, and repetitive stress to the spine. This is in case of a ruptured disc or a bulging of the disc. Okay. Usually you have to see from L1, L2, L3, L4, L5. Okay. And then the tailbone starts. Osteoarthritis and sciatica. Osteoarthritis can affect any joint in the body, including the small joints of the spine, called the vertebra spine. Osteoarthritis occurs as a result of a wear and tear of the cartilage is located within the spine joints. As spine arthritis, arthritis progresses, the body makes new bony growth to stabilize the joint. 
this both spurs can eventually compress his nearby spinal nerves roots causing numbness and tingling similar to that of a ruptured disc sciatica refers to the compression or twitching of the sciatica nerve often caused by a herniated disc or a bone spur an injury or trauma to the pelvis buttocks or thighs diabetes prolonged sitting and piriformis syndrome when a small muscle in the buttocks spasms and irritates the sciatica nerve may also cause to to sciatica imbalance or infunctioning of the sciatica nerve is known as sciatica is known as sciatica disease is known as sciatica the nerve is known as sciatica nerve spinal stenosis causes back pain in the aging population as you get older the spinal canal gradually becomes constricted or narrowed due in part to osteoarthritis and the thickening of the tissues in your spine if the spinal canal becomes too tight nerve roots may become compressed causing neurological symptoms like weakness numbness and tingling spondylitis is referred to as stress factor in one of the vertebrae of the spine this condition is most common in children and adolescents who play the sports such as gymnastics or football that plays repeated stress on the lower back if a stress factor weakens the vertebra too much the vertebra becomes unstable and begins to slip this condition is known as spondylolisthesis symptoms of spondylolisthesis includes pain and stiffness at the site of the slipped vertebra now as i told you the slipped vertebra usually takes place on the lumbar region between l3 l4 and l4 l5 okay 7 well well and 7 19 19 for 24 24 9 30 yeah osteoporosis osteoarthritis in it here if you segregate this word osteo and pores pores are the nothing but the holes in the bones which causes the weakness and ultimately leads into pores ultimately leads it brittles down very very well known in the ladies in the at a older age when there is a deficiency of calcium and vitamin d which is to be supplemented not only by the intake of the tablets but also through the food which contains a high source of calcium and vitamins also multivitamins so osteoporosis is weakening of the bones that make them more prone to breaking back pain from osteoarthritis is most commonly related to compression fracture of the vertebra often times with the comp compression fracture a person does not report a history of trauma but rather notes sudden back pain after a simple activity like bending or bending over or sneezing the pain of a vertebral compression fracture is often felt in the lower back or in the middle of the back rarely the pain radiates to the other areas of the body like the abdomen or legs generally speaking pain from a compression fracture often worsens with motion is eased with rest or lying down and reduces in the quality from sharp to dull scoliosis and ankylosing spondylitis scoliosis is a condition in the spine curves and twist like the letter s or letter c it usually develops in the childhood or during the adolescence In most cases, the causes of scoliosis, scoliosis is unknown, although it may be related to injury or the birth defect. In some instances, multiple family members will have scoliosis, suggesting a potential genetic component. For all your information, I am a patient of scoliosis. I had recovered, I had been treated under the BKS Iyengar rope belt therapy. RBT rope belt therapy, where I have successfully completed four to five months of training, uh, and I completed the treatment also. But still, I am continuing because of certain other reasons for the maintenance of the spine which has set right, and the muscles which has become toned up, and the my, my body posture has been aligned. Okay, ankylosing spondylitis is a chronic inflammatory disease of the spine joints that causes the low back and stiffness. typically starting before the age of 40 the back pain of ankylosing spondylitis tends to improve with exercise and worsens at the night
asanas recommended for lower back pain are majrasan a and b postures abdominals adhamukhasanasan trikonasan bhujangasan cobra postures naukasan or locus posture sendhubandhasan ardhamachendrasan 2d spinal joint uttan vakrasan chashangasan pranayama nadi shuddhi pranayama kumbhak pranayama hissing sound inhale very deeply and exhale through the mouth now we come to osteoarthritis what is the meaning and definition in the most common form of arthritis and leading to a cause of disability and loss of function in the elderly population it can affect any joint but a knee is the one of the most affected parts of the body in humans there are several risk factors for osteoarthritis such as obesity smoking intraarticular fractures chondrocalcinosis crystals in joint fluids and cartilages in the female gender usually uh, as you are all aware the weight of the leg below the knee is 25% and 75% of the weight is carried by the leg which is above so naturally when there is a fatness or a excess fat which is developed above the body the leg is not able to resist it and the patient gets slowly degeneration and the sinuous fluid which is there near the patella gets dried up very fast that the usual old aging process okay i am also victim of osteoarthritis because of the old age yeah. for which i am also taking treatment at rb joint hypermobility instability peripheral neuropathy prolonged occupational or sports stress the prevalence of knee osteoarthritis increases with age symptoms of osteoarthritis present as pain in and around the joints morning stiffness restricted joint movement associated with the muscle weakness knee osteoarthritis is associated with disrupted sleep depression increased sedentary behavior less physical activity obesity and decreased the quality of life bilateral knee Osteo is impaired, is impaired the balance and increases the risk of fall, particularly in people with moderate knee osteoarthritis. These are symptoms of osteoarthritis. Different yoga methods: yoga, mind-body intervention, originated in India. Different schools of yoga, such as Iyengar yoga, Ayurveda or Aswasa, Hatha yoga, etc. Developed the therapeutic intervention for the knee osteoarthritis. A pilot study was conducted. This is all the media research on nine participants using modified Iyengar yoga postures, 90 minutes plus once in a week for eight weeks, as a treatment modality, and showed the potential reduction in pain and disability caused by the knee osteoarthritis. Few other students compared the yoga therapy with different intervention such as traditional stretching and strengthening exercise, or no structured group exercise for six weeks. and showed functional changes and improvement in the quality of life in traditional practice and yoga based approach it was followed by iyt intervention 40 minutes of shavasana of from svasa and reported that iyt is better than physiotherapy exercise for reducing the pain morning stiffness stain and trait anxiety blood pressure and pulse rate in osteoarthritis patient in iyt concept of svasa we have this On the basis of the panchakosha, andamaya kosha, pranamaya kosha, manamaya kosha, vidyanaya kosha, and andamaya kosha, different modules are developed by Swasa under Dr. Nagendra Ji, and the different aspects are looked into on the each koshas and how the koshas gets activated and regenerated, thereby the disease getting eradicated and lessening it, and thereby activating the functional level of the organ which is at the disease. Okay. The study was uh, what are the yogic pain of osteoarthritis? The study was limited to numerical pain scale and said that great anxiety. Meta analysis of yoga for musculoskeletal problems suggests that yoga is helpful for chronic pain and low back problems in older women population. Yogic posture of osteoarthritis: Rikshasan, Surya Namaskar, Shashangasan breathing, Majrasan A and B, Uttan Vakrasan, Sedu Bandhasan. पर्वत आसन अंजने आसन पेल्विक ट्विस्ट प्राणायाम लाइक ग्रामरी उज्जय अनुलोम विलोम कपाल भाती 
शितने हैं चितकारी डिसाइड सूर्य नमस्कार आर एफेक्टिंग एफेक्टिव इन क्यूरिंग द जॉइंट पेंस यूजुअली फॉरवर्ड बेंडिंग इज अवॉइडेड इन ऑस्टियोआर्थराइटिस बिकॉज़ दैट कॉज अ मोर स्टिफ टू द जॉइंट्स एंड द ऑस्टियोआर्थराइटिस एंड द नी जॉइंट्स देन वी कम टू सेकंड लास्ट पोस्चर दैट इज अ नॉन कम्युनिकेबल डिजीज और नॉन कम्युनिकेबल Yoga is essentially a practice to increase the physical and the mental activity and prevent the occurrence of NCDs. Yoga practice can improve the functions of different systems of the body, foster the physiological well-being, and improve the oxygen level issues. Remove the metabolic waste product, carcinogens, and cellular toxin, and scientific evidence has begun to emphasize its efficacy. It helps to get rid of the toxic substances which create disturbances in the body. In this review, the authors explain the role of the various yoga practices in the management of four major non-communicable, which are that diabetes mellitus, respiratory disorders, cardiovascular disease, and cancer, based on the evidence from various literatures and research. And it is the ailment that are based on the routine habits of the people. Sedentary lifestyle is the leading cause for the health issues, which led to NCDs. Yoga helps the human being to make his body healthy and fit. It helps the man to get rid of the toxic substances which create a disturbance in the body. To reduce the NCD-related premature mortality, regular practice of yoga must be implemented. To, in this short review, discuss the various role of yoga practices for the management of four major NCDs. What are the asanas and treatment for management of this? Surya Namaskar. The key to do a yoga posture is that it should perform with stability and comfort. Asanas had a benefit, beneficial effect of glucose utilization and fat redistribution in people with type 2 diabetes. In patients with diabetes, the pancreas, pancreatic cells may be regenerated and beta cell sensitivity in the pancreas may be increased by an alternative abdominal contraction and relaxation involved in the yogic practices. Improved blood supply to the muscles may enhance the insulin receptor expression in the muscles causing the increased glucose uptake it was noticed that ideal control of diabetes was done by dhanurasan ardha matsendrasan halasan vajrasana bhujangasana and naukasana yoga for respiratory diseases the regular practice of pranayama will lead to a good supply of the oxygen to the lungs respiratory rate becomes slower the slower breathing will activate the parasympathetic nervous system which helps in reducing the stress and regenerating the body. It strengthens the diaphragm and removes the impurities from the breathing tube. Some of the beneficial postures include Bhujangasana, Viparita Dandasana, Dvipadapar Tadanasana, Urdhva Mukasana, Ustrasana, Supta Vajrasana, Supta Virasana, Dhanurasana, Chetu Vandasana, Sarvangasana. Lungs and other respiratory organs require an adequate fresh and healthy blood to prevent the disorders and the disease. It is obtained by the way of gravity that is inverted postures and through the method of squeezing and soaking. In inverted postures such as Sirsasana, Salamasana, Saravangasana, Halasana, Sedhubandasana and Saravangasana, Vipurita Karni. for CVD, cardiovascular disease. By doing the above practices, circulation throughout the human body is altered and areas above the heart receive an increased supply of the blood. It should be noted that the last two postures, that is toxicity postures, Sarvangas and Impritakani, also have the additional respiratory benefit of stretching and massaging the diaphragm, the primary muscles of respiration. The process of squeezing and soaking occurs when the respiratory organ is constricted and released. This is mainly because the flow of the blood on the toxic postures goes more toward the brain. Because of the gravitation force, the blood automatically when the leg is shifted upwards, when the posture is at the constricted level of the throat in Sarvangasana or partially in Vipurita Karni also, the flow of the blood toward the head is maximum. 
the regular practices of yoga results in an improved in lipid profile heart rate variability decrease in the blood pressure and even regression of arthroscoliosis when combined with the proper diet and lifestyle modifications meditative poses can also reduce potentially the heart rate clogging stress hormones examples of such uses are supasana or child pose this pose is also contributed in mind body awareness that impact the lifestyle choices such as mindful eating and knowing when to remove your stress poses like utkatasana navasana boat posture and dolphin plank pose work your heart while they develop core strength flowing the yoga poses such as sun salutation increase the heart rate thereby reducing the resting heart rate it helps the heart to pump the blood it needs to the rest of the body efficiently yoga for cancer the asana and the pranayama together help keep the mind calm and prepare the mind to overcome the sensory stimulus reduces the thoughts by helping one to focus and concentrate now we are treating for cancer patients okay Yoga has been used to control such as fatigue, sleep disturbances, loss of appetite, chemotherapy induced nausea and vomiting, and pain in the cancer patient. The effects of the yoga intervention have been moderate to large in studies. Cooling pranayama has been useful in managing the CINV, that is, chemotherapy induced nausea and vomiting, along with pawan mukta asan, supine knee, chest, and uttana pada asan, straight leg raise to 45 degrees. okay because the quantity of the heat which is generated and the pain which the patient suffers in the cancer is tremendous and unbelievable and unimaginable which cannot be described in words it's at a very very higher level the pain suffer to reduce the pain because of the de- destruction of the cells in the body because of the particular cells which are been getting degenerated and there are no further expansion of the cells which normally occurs in a healthy body the process of degeneration of the cells takes place and ultimately leads into the cancerous cells so cooling pranayama will always have an effect the second will be the in this month in which shitri and chitkari this will be a cooling effect the brahmari also will give a cooling effect the loosening exercises that is such as yoga asanas sudarshan kriya that is of uh, Uh, Bangalore's Ravi Shankar's and relaxation. She right. I've been more. Yeah. She Ravi Shankar. I've been more effective in managing the fatigue, pain, and sleep problems. Techniques that use the postures, interspread with relaxation techniques, cyclic meditation and movement meditation, and vice versa, have been found to be useful in reducing the stress and improving the sleep. I slowly disagree with this as regarding the cyclic meditation. Cyclic meditation involves certain asanas. but it all depends on the position of the patient and the patient discomfort so it can go rather for yoga nidra or mind sound resonance technique or pet which will have a greater effect as i have come across the research studies which have been shown on the patients cancer patients they have found that the pet chronic inhalation technique and msrt are found to be more useful because cyclic meditation involves the certain asanas though it is very slow So it involves certain asanas. So can be done. Next is continued for the cancer patient. Yoga reduces stress hormones, SPA, hypothalamus axis regulation, relaxation improves and improves the parasympathetic function that reduces the stress and the modulate the response to stressors and install a greater control over the situation. This is particularly useful in the cancer patients who pursue the cancer. as a threat and constantly eliminate on its feast depression causes abnormal elevation of diurenal cortisol leading to insomnia and immune suppression yoga helps in relieving the depressive symptoms by changing the perception thereby improving the fatigue improves the sleep and consequent immune response yoga modulates psycho neuro endocrine and psycho neuro immune axis thereby restoring the homeostasis and reducing the allostatic load all pranayama should be done without kumbhak that is very very essential for any patient any patient because 
all this Jalandaban, Ujjanban, and this Mahaban, or the this can be only done by the ordinary sadhaks or those who are under yoga process. Those who are having problems or health issues and has been identified as health issues, preferably not to do pranayama with kumbhak and bhastrika as far as possible, avoid it because bhastrika creates heat in the body. Next we come to benefits of yoga and all for NCDs. Yoga is based on the principle that the mind body are related. Yoga has many health benefits such as improving the physical fitness, relaxation and awareness of self. It has been accepted widely in society because of its safety and physiological benefits. Yoga practice can improve the function of different system of the body, foster the psychological well-being and improve the oxygen delivery to tissues, remove the metabolic waste products, carcinogenous and cellular toxin and scientific evidence has begun to emphasize its efficacy. It is now considered low-cost intervention to, in, to control the various lifestyle disorders. Yoga as an integration medicine, that is the last topic of the fourth chapter. Fourth in it. Yoga is a healing system of the body, theory and practice, a combination of breathing exercises, physical postures and meditation practice for over 5,000 years. An analysis of yoga and heart rate studies found that yoga reduced the risk factors for the heart such as BMI, cholesterol, and blood pressure. Yoga may also decrease the changes in the blood vessels that contribute to the heart disease. Yoga helps you manage the stress according to the National Institute of Health. Scientific evidence shows that yoga supports the stress management, mental health, mindfulness, healthy eating, weight loss, and quality sleep. Yoga's incorporation of the meditation and breathing can help the improve a person's mental well-being. Regular yoga practices creates the mental clarity and calmness, increases the body awareness, relieves the chronic stress patterns, relaxes the mind, centers the attention, and sharpens the concentration. Out of the opinion, you have a section of doctors. Yoga has the potential to increase the fat loss, develop the constant tone and build the flexibility, leading to a more lean looking like physique. If the flexibility and balances are what you are after, even the gentlest form of yoga will do the trick. Many ty types also helps to build the muscle strength and endurance. Yoga has been widely used for health promotion and disease prevention and as a possible treatment modality for neurological disorders. Yoga can all help to deepen your meditation practice, improve your flexibility, and help with the balance. Pilots may be better for recovering after injury, improving the posture and for core strength. These are the basic concepts. That's it by me. Thank you very much. Please visit my website, please. I have loaded all my lectures on the website also, which has been sent to you. www.omkaryoga.co.in Lot of knowledge purposes are also there. A lot of therapy matters also are there where I cured many of the patients on thyroids, low back pain, which, which are given that they are given the result. Okay? Please visit and there are various techniques and the, the entire profile you will get like that. Thank you very much. Any questions, please?